Hey everyone, uh, it's Joey from Radio K here at in Austin, Texas for South by Southwest. I'm here with Water Damage. Um, so first of all, I just have to ask, where did you guys get the name for Water Damage? Um, it was like a idea that we had re in regards to the way the music sounds. So the way the music can shift over time and then change and the way that Water Damage can sometimes do the same thing and then Water damage also can happen very quickly, but in terms of what we do, it happens slowly over over time. So that's that's where. Cool. Yeah, that's I I can see that. Having listened to your stuff, I kind of see where that 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 comes into play. Um, so you guys are a drone band, right? So for those who might be unfamiliar with that kind of music, in a few words, kind of describe what that sounds like. Uh, durational sustained chord um, would describe drone. Um, our particular version of it has a repetitive rhythm section mm -hmm. playing over it, so, yeah. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I, that's one of my favorite things. I've actually been recently getting into that kind of music, so when I saw you guys were, like, playing here, I was really excited. Um, and I love the, like, drums, the addition of that to your guys' music. I think it's really cool. And can, what do you guys play in the band? I guess I haven't asked that yet. Oh, I play drums. Uh, I play basically an open tuned guitar that I usually play with a violin bow. I like that. Very cool. Very cool. Um, so you guys mix a lot of that drone sound and composition with more of a rock influence, especially with the drums. Where did that come from? Where do you guys get that idea? Uh, hmm. the can. Tony, uh, <laughs> sure, Tony yeah. Conrad, Faust Record, sure, yeah. a, band, a band called France. Okay. Um, like, I steal lots of things from Led Zeppelin and <laughs> just, like, little snippets of stuff that I hear. And then, yeah. like, that, and then, like, you know, think about this little tiny bit of a riff or, like, a drum beat could be, like, a water damage thing and just extend it for a really long time. That's pretty much where I'm... Anything to add or...? Uh, no other influences I would add that comes to mind, yeah. Well, especially with the, the bow with the guitar, I see that Led Zeppelin influence and a lot of the drumming. It's very cool. I'm, I'm a huge Zepp fan, so that's really sweet. And of course, Can, like oh, yeah. classic, you know, sort of experimental stuff. I, that's, that's really rad. Um, so being from Austin, as we've discussed already, what kind of, what does playing at uh, South by Southwest mean to you guys? Well, I mean, it's a, it's a pretty complicated mixed bag uh, this year. Um, I mean, I'll say that the venue that we played in, um, just like superficially to play ACL live, um, you know, I can remember Austin City Limits on TV, you know, as far back as I can remember having grown up here. Um, so that's just a cool thing to be able to do. Um, feeling like, you know, I don't know, for so long thinking like, why, why isn't a band like us on that stage or something like that, you know, like, <laughs> why are they bringing in Radiohead, you know, <laughs> um, so, I don't know, that, that's pretty cool, yeah. I mean, yeah. there's a lot more to what's going on here than, like, blues rock, and um, it's nice to, you know, represent that, you yeah. know, in our hometown, in yeah. front of, mostly a crowd that's coming in from out of town, mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. yeah. Anything, anything to add? No, it was great to play at ACL Live. That was fun. No, never thought that would happen. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> I think pretty, generally, good. pretty good. Generally, like with the with the experiences I've had with South by, you just meet people from out of the country. Mm -hmm. Where normally, you know, they're all just concentrated in a small spot, you know. And so you just like, you know, like last year we we met some people. Oh, like yeah. Colin from The Wire. Yeah. So. We played with Colin Newman from Wire last year. Oh, we played yeah. at Hotel Vegas. Things like that wouldn't be like a normal week, you know, mm -hmm. in, in Austin. So, yeah. Yeah, no, I mean, it's really great to see more like, you know, unique bands like you guys getting that kind of like main stage recognition. And it's, yeah, I'm sure it means a lot to like be playing that. Um, and has this year guys' first South by Southwest performance? No, we've played. For this band, sex, the second one. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We we started playing out like in 2018, and then COVID happened, and then South by was didn't happen, and then last year we played, and then this year we played. So sweet. Well, it's great to be back. Then I'm sure. Yeah. Um, what's okay? So you know, I've, I, we've heard that Austin is what is it? Keep Austin weird is the 
slogan or something that we've heard. What's the weirdest thing you've ever seen in either Austin or maybe South by Southwest or both? I mean, weird. I, I mean, I don't know. Leslie comes to mind. Yeah, like, uh, uh, yeah, so, you know, <laughs> well, Leslie used to push around the, the big cart selling like lemonade maybe, or I forgot. Yeah. I don't even remember what he, what Leslie sold, but yeah. yeah, Leslie's not around anymore. Leslie's Leslie around. also ran for mayor. Yeah, <laughs> Leslie was one of the ambassadors of weird, um, weirdest things I've seen here. Um, I remember there was a guy who used to hang around downtown that um, ingested a lot of, uh, I guess, what is it, colloidal silver or whatever, and his whole face was like silver, oh. <laughs> and he used to be around a lot. That was pretty weird. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'd have to maybe think, um, like, about, like, particularly. I mean, those are, those are pretty weird to, uh, to a Minnesota kid like myself. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and then what are, like, this is kind of a question we ask a lot of artists that we interview. What are three things, just in general, could be music or anything, that you are loving right now or you're getting inspiration from? And both of you should answer this. Oh, hmm. Three things that I'm loving right now. I'm loving the new Kim Gordon record, one. Um, stump me. <laughs> <laughs> kind of put you on the spot. I just had a, um, I just read a great interview or a quietest little blurb about an uh, article about U.S. Maple. I like that band a lot. Mm -hmm. So they were talking ta talking to Todd Rittman about um, all the records and recording and particular songs. So right. that's pretty cool. Um, oh, a book. Let me think about what book that I'm reading. Well, I just reread Bluettes by Maggie Nelson. I've read it like numerous times. That's something that I'm totally love. Lots of Maggie Nelson books. Sweet. I love it. And for you? So you said three things? Three things. Um, a recent record that I got that I like is, um, by the drummer Kareem Riggins. Mm. He's a, both a, he works at the intersection of hip hop and jazz. He's a jazz drummer, but also a producer. Mm -hmm. And the last record that he put out is nothing but a uh, live drum kit playing, yeah. but mixed and engineered in a way that, yeah. it's like 30 beats or something like, okay. without any music over it. So cool. And, uh, the production on it it's just cool to hear someone who's like a you know like sample kind of producer mm -hmm. um making his drums sound kind of like samples but it's all a live kit mm -hmm. yeah. really really awesome uh player um book uh lately probably forms by caroline levine i think is her name um it's called forms rhythm pattern hierarchy network something like that mm -hmm. Um, it talks about um, different forms of kind of like rhythms of information that kind of like create a, a kind of hypnosis and like distraction from like the workday. Right. Um, so that was really cool in thinking about how drone music is an alternative space yeah, that sort of good. breaks out of that yeah. distraction and kind of puts you in the present moment in a way that normally like conflict resolution of a TV show would distract you from like um, so yeah that book um, I don't know like if I feel like if you ask me week to week like what my favorite music is I would ch change my answer like pretty <laughs> drastically even you're David talking to college radio kids we get it um, that's another record hmm hmm <laughs> a lot of indecisiveness I get it I recently got the the second Amandul record um, a German krautrock band uh, an album called Yeti I really liked that one yeah. a lot um, so I'll just, yeah I'll just leave it at that yeah. <laughs> awesome well great responses from you guys and um, that's all I have for you so thank you so much awesome. this has been uh, water damage and can I get you guys' names real quick just for so everyone knows yeah Greg Pawanka Travis Austin Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much for meeting with us. And this has been Radio K, Real College Radio.